Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Mischief Makers. This is Laharl, and today we're gonna go ahead and continue on with this episode. And if you recall from last time, we went ahead and finished up stage 1 8, and today we should be finished with level 1. So let's go ahead and do Mr. Alright, I'm gonna be, I'm a little bit quiet because it's 1.30 in the morning. Actually, it's more like 1.43. And that is a cat with a... Yeah, don't ask. <coughs> I decided I couldn't sleep, so... You know what? I might as well record. And I'm using a machine gun. Yeah, I know. It's weird. <laughs> huh. So... This is Western World. There are a bunch- see, I told you, they look like cowboys. And sure enough, it's exactly what they are. Uh, jerks. Like that. Whoa. What's- what? Hmm. Huh. Boss. Apparently that was a boss. Sometimes you can't really tell. And let's dig through here and get a bomb that we were throwing around for some reason. Hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this health here. Trying to think. Oh yeah, this gold gem. This one's actually not that hard to get. Um, let's see. You have to utilize the bombs, of course, and it's annoying because of those stupid spikes. Let's see if I can do this. Apparently not. Yeah, if you hit the spikes, your bomb blows up. Then you've got 16 seconds. Let's go ahead and jump past this. And there's one set. Let's go ahead and get the other one. So, yeah, I've been, um, trying to... Ugh. Dang it. Okay, hang on. I gotta focus for this part. Hold on a second, guys. Hopefully the audio still will sound okay, even though I'm kind of whispering. But I don't think you guys care too much about my audio issues, so I'm going to stop talking about that and instead screw up with this bomb part. And I'm going to try this one more time, and if we don't get it, screw it. I'm moving on. Yeah. This this game actually looks easy when you watch someone else play it, but it's one of... Screw it. I screwed that up royally anyway. Oh look, I needed it anyways. Well, you know. You know what? One more time. One more time. Redeem myself. Jump up here. Fudge. Ugh. Dang it, Odin, you're rubbing off on me. <laughs> you suck. You know, I don't think those spikes are gonna show up anymore. And I got it. Thank you. Okay. Finally. God. It's not that hard, I just couldn't get it for some reason. <laughs> Go ahead and move this over here. And guess what? That was Western World. It was a lot shorter than I made it look because I tried to get the golden gem and I got a C rank. Ugh. Volcano. Stage 10, yay. Usually, at the end of these stages, is a boss fight, but World 1's the exception to that rule. Instead, we're running to the right. And getting hit by fire. That's always fun. Alright, let's jump over here. The gold gem in this stage is actually in a somewhat obvious location. And... I got it. Now we can bum rush the rest of the stage. Yeah, like I said in the previous episode, these stages are generally really small, so I'm going to be getting through multiples now in, in a rather lengthy amount of time and getting hit by fire. Yeah, I forgot. 
that if you don't stay up here, then you can't jump back up here. Because this game just doesn't like you. And it's like, ha, oh, you, 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 you wanna jump that high? Well, that's too bad. But the stage is over, so it's okay. Yeah, I'm not even kidding you. That was, that was the last stage. 53 seconds. Hey, look guys, stage 2, or world 2, Megan Shrine. And now, the game finally gets harder. And look at that beautiful texture. Oh, it's so pretty, isn't it? Uh, let's get some health here. And our health bar moved to the bottom. Yeah, in this, in this world, your health bar moves around a little bit in a couple of stages because it's harder to see some things. Let's go ahead and move here. Oh yeah, I remember. Gotta shake that little clan ball there. And... Then grab this one, and we warp all the way over to here. And... Oh god, no. I remember this stage now. Oh... I, I had some very serious issues with this stage. I'm not even really sure why. Because uh, what you're supposed to do is slide. Like that. And I don't like to uh, take chances there. Yeah, you're actually not supposed to know about sliding there, but you slide to get that gold gem. Yeah, the stage isn't all that bad. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. And there's the end of the stage. Man, we're already in stage one, world two. <laughs> Keep this pace up, and then that means this game won't go that long. Vertigo. This is one of the first. Oh, look at those textures in the background. So beautiful. This is one of the first, uh. Oh, yeah. This is one of the first, um, vertical stages in the game. Yeah, this stage has a unique, uh, concept in it in which you apparently can't jump high enough to get past that, in that you can shake the clan ball and it will cause the entire stage to spin around and then it will reset things. And you gotta be quick with that bomb there. Generally you just want to quickly mash the um, B button to throw it. Oh, I got it. I'm gonna shake this clan ball. up here on these really funny looking um, platforms that aren't supposed to look like that. <laughs> oh god. Now, this is the end of the stage, but as you know, we haven't got the gold gem yet. This gold gem is rather difficult to get, so let's see if I can get it on the first try. Jump up fast enough. Got it. Alright, and then you can go up here. Gold gem. And then finish the level. We're just moving right along, jeez. When there's no storyline, this goes fast. Sink or float. Next stage, and the little clan ball cook things. That one's got a Santa hat. <laughs> oh yes. Sink or float. Let's take a shuriken and throw it and follow it. Yep, that just happened, guys. Shurikens in this game are deadly. As they should be, because shurikens are amazing when you can throw them. Oh. If you fall in lava, um, you actually just warp back to the last um, mainland you were on. So, if you haven't touched the ground for a while and you fall in the lava, you will get screwed. So make sure you don't fall in the lava. Plus you take damage, of course. But... It's really just a super huge <laughs> annoyance. It also helps to use your head and not do stupidly like that. Oh, and the enemies respawn too. So, falling in the lava is very, very annoying. Okay, this time I'm going to do this right. 
There we go. Jeez, that wasn't so hard, now was it? Well, okay. It wouldn't be so hard if I didn't screw up so much. Let's grab this one. Shake it for no reason. And thank you, land. Okay. This. This one. This gold gem is ridiculously hard to get. I have an idea of what to do, though. See that clearly pa painted arrow of gems? You're supposed to jump in the air and then dash. So what I think you can do is not be stupid. What I think you're supposed to do is do a slide dash and then dash over here. What I used, what I did the first time, I, oh my god, yes, it is so much easier that way. What I did the first time was I did a running jump and I dashed. And I barely made it. Holy crap, I feel so good right now. If you want to get that gold gem, do a slide dash, jump in the air, and then dash to the right. Oh my gosh. Otherwise, that gem, that gem is nearly impossible if you don't do it that way. In fact, don't even try to do it the way I did it the first way. Whew. Okay, next stage. That feels good. Oh god, this stage. This, you just kind of run for your life. That's all there is to it. No thinking. Just dash. Dash like mad. And we're gonna get the gold gem. This gold gem's hard to get. Kinda. We're gonna have to wait here because we need to shake that clan ball. So basically what I'm doing is really stupid. And then it'll do that. And then shake. Oh god. Yeah, it's... You gotta be fast. What I used to do at first was something way, way more, um, needless. <laughs> Alright, this one... I know you have to jump from that clan ball and hit that star. So I'll try this once. Oh, okay, one more try, one more try. Yeah, like I said, some of the gold gems in this game are insane. And you can't... You don't have enough time to actually get to a platform, so you have to do a dash. But you do have to shake this one. And whenever you hit the lava, like I said, everything resets. So you can't actually get to it. And I've tried going... Ah, oh, screw it. I'll get this one in a later episode or something. And then I'll probably just add it or something. I might do some off-screen stuff. I think I have an idea of how to do that. But what you're supposed to do is grab this one, and then you'll get warped here. And then by then the explosions will be here, and then you go from here. And then later on in the stage there will be something that will reveal. But you can't get past this otherwise until you wait for the explosion to finally start. And then you go up here. And then do a dash over here, and you should probably be faster. And not be stupid and... Never mind. Uh, I gotta beat this stage quickly. I didn't think I was gonna screw up this much. We're running out of time. Uh, not gonna try for it this time because I might fall. Yeah, if I'd have gotten the gem there, that would have sucked. Because then I would have had to do it again. Come on, come on, hurry up. We're running out of time. Stupid cleanser. You can actually kind of take your time on this stage. Kind of. Not really. But, you know, if you get over overly... And then, if you'd have shaken it, the gold gem would have appeared there. Well, no. No, it wouldn't. I lied. It would have appeared over there. Don't you know what? All that health and we're not going to get to use it. I don't have enough time to do another stage. Alright, guys, um, I don't have enough time for another stage, so that's gonna have to call it good for this episode. I got a B rank on all those stages prior. So, I'm sorry for the, uh, lower audio this episode. And, actually, this game didn't lag once. I'm surprised. Huh. Alright, sweet. High quality episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, little thing of, uh, Mischief Makers. And I will see you all later.